After his win against Seto Kaiba, Yugi was puzzled to receive a package from Maximilian Pegasus, the creator of Duel Monsters. Inside the box was a videotape. Yugi inserted the tape into the VCR and Pegasus' face popped up on the TV screen. Greetings, little Yugi. I am Maximilian Pegasus. I've heard some terribly interesting things about you. Your impressive defeat of Seto Kaiba intrigued me so much that I decided to investigate your amazing dueling skills personally. Right here and now, we shall hold a special duel. Suddenly, a strange and arcane magic froze time so that no one could move except for Yugi. This dark dimension we're in is known as the Shadow Realm. It's a mystical place where incredible monsters can be summoned and the impossible is quite possible. Tell me, Yugi, do you believe there is magic in these cards? Don't you know? You invented this game! What if I told you I didn't? Huh? In ancient times, the Egyptians called this the Shadow Game. Powerful pharaohs will hold mystical duels in other dimensions, just as we're doing now. But instead of cards, they battle with real monsters and real magic. The magical forces were so powerful that the Egyptians lost control of them and nearly destroyed the entire world. It's a good story, but these monsters can't be real. These monsters are very real and also quite dangerous. Yugi boy, you really are quite entertaining. The way you scowl and sneer, so defiant, yes, helpless and so completely ignorant of the power of your Millennium Puzzles. Yugi looked down at the Millennium Puzzles that he wore around his neck. The power of my muzzle? Five thousand years ago, a powerful barrel locked the magic of the Shadow Games away in seven mystical Millennium items. Seven items? You're saying that my puzzle's one of them? Yes, and there are mystical energy locked within it. Magic that could change your life forever if you only knew how to unleash it. As the two duel, it seemed that Pegasus knew every move Yugi was going to make before he did. Despite this disadvantage, Yugi mustered all his skills and nearly won. But Yugi ran out of time when the time limit passed. I have taken the measure of your talents this day, Yugi Mortal. And when next we duel, we shall play for far higher stakes. I'm done with your games! Tsk, tsk, tsk. You presume I'm giving you a choice in the matter, but I'm not, for I also possess one of the seven Millennium Items, the all powerful Millennium Eyes. A Millennium Eye? That's right, Yugi boy. I'll show you the true extent of his magic. I have found that, given the proper incentive, anyone can be made to play my game. The power of the Millennium Eye lashed out and stole Grandpa's soul. Yugi could only watch in horror. Yugi! Grandpa! We will do again, Yugi. How else will you ever reclaim your grandfather's soul? Yugi had no choice but to compete in Pegasus Duelist Kingdom Tournament so that he could get his grandfather's souls back. At Duelist Kingdom, each duelist was given two dark chips which they could wager against other duelists on the island. Whoever earned 10 star chips gained entry into the tournament finals where they would compete for the 3 million grand prize and a chance to duel Pegasus himself. For his first duel, Yugi faced off against the conniving Weevil Underwood, a duelist with whom he had a bit of history. While riding a boat to the duelist kingdom, 
Weevil took Yugi's precious Zodiac cards and threw them into the ocean. So when Yugi spied Weevil on the island, he chased after him into the woods. Welcome, said the butter to the fly. You flew away into my trap. This time you answer for destroying my Zodiac cards, Weevil. Can't you let bygones be bygones? <laughs> Weevil, it's time to find out you're good at dueling as you are running away. Was I simply running away or cleverly weaving you into my web? It's time to duel. I go first. I place one monster face down. I am my turn, Weevil. Ha! I draw. And I activate. Burning land. This will destroy your uh, field spell card. And I place another monster face down. I'll switch my giant soldier of stone in attack position. And to battle phase. I attack with my giant soldier of stone. Attack big inset with stone slash. I end my face. I draw. I too take 500 life point. I summon Silver Fang in attack position. I enter my battle phase. Attack Civil Fang. I see. I enter my man phase two. And since I did not attack with Giant Soldier of Stone, I can revert him back to defense position. I end my turn. I draw. Uh. And I summon Pharaoh Imp in attack position. I enter my battle phase. Pharaoh Imp attack that face down position. And I end my turn. Draw. Ugh. I tribute summon Gaia the Fierce Knight by tributing Silver Fang and Mystical Elf. And until attack position. I enter my battle phase. I attack with Pharaoh M. Attack that face down monster. Ah! Uh. Guy of the Fierce Knight. Fierce thrust that cocoon of evolution. With that, I end my turn. I summon Griffor in attack position. 
I enter my battle phase. Guy of the Fierce Knight. Attack that face down. I am my face. I activate a spell card. Graceful charity. This allows me to draw three cards from, from my deck and then dis discard two cards from my hand. I discard two mammoth graveyard. I activate sword of revealing light. And it will also reveal your face down monster. Curses. I activate monster reincarnation. This allow me to discard one card and bring back one monster from more of my graveyard to my hand. And I choose Gaia the Fierce Knight. But that's not all. For I tribute summon Gaia the Fierce Knight. By terminating two monster, which would be Fur Imp and Griff Griffor. I shall place Guy the Fierce Knight into attack position. And I'll switch Giant Soldier of Stone to attack position. And activate Horn of the Unicorn, which allows me to gain 700 attack and defense to whatever monster that I equipped it to. And I choose Giant Soldier of Stone, which that makes 2000 attack. I attack with giant soldier of stone. Get rid of Kamakiri Man. Guy the Fierce Knight. Get rid of Manny the Bug. With that, I am my turn. Set one car face down. I attack with giant soldier of stone. Attack the face down. Then I attack with guy the fierce knight. Fierce thrust. I am my turn, Weevil. Make it count. Weevil, this will be my last turn. For that, I summon Wing Dragon, Guardian of the Fortress, number one. And I attack with Gaia, the Fierce Knight. With Fierce Thrust, attack Weevil's life point directly. It's over. I've won. No, impossible. My moth is unbeatable. <laughs>